please provide our viewers with an overview of what corn, soybeans, and wheat have done in the month of October. We've been range bound. Nearby soybeans started the month at 8.57. They went up to 8.92. They went down to 8.44, and today they're trading at 8.56. Corn, near, uh, nearby corn was at 3.65 on the first day of October. It went up to 3.78. Went down to 3.60, now at 3.68. And wheat, uh, nearby December wheat, we started at 5.09. It uh, went up the high as 5.27. Went down to 4.85, and now we're trading at 5.07. So we're we're trying to stay within these ranges with um, conflicting bullish and bearish news. So what are the key fundamentals for prices at this time? Right now we're winding down the harvest. Um, the dollar strength continues to offer resistance. We still have no resolution to the U.S. and China trade deal. Um, for the most part, bean and wheat exports have been uh, less than people had hoped, while corn exports have been better. Um, farmer reluctant seller, and South America is starting out uh, with good crop conditions. Can you tell us where the funds are now and where do you maybe <coughs> see prices heading? Well, right now the funds are short 60,000 contracts of beans and 30,000 contracts of wheat and long about 20,000 contracts of corn. I think beans are overpriced and they should go lower. And I think the corn prices are going to try to bounce a little bit after harvest. Uh, wheat prices probably will follow a little bit to corn prices and try to move a little bit higher off these prices. So what do you think sh farmers should be doing right now with their 2018 crop and should they also be looking at marketing their ungrown 2019 crop? Should they be buying put options for unsold cash grain? What, what are your thoughts there? Well, first of all, um, Hightower recommended them buying a soybean January put today, 815 strike price, uh, looking for maybe a 39 cent gain in the put as the market trades lower. Um, for, I think market farmers right now are frozen. They, they expect prices to go higher, especially in the beans if there's a resolution to the China trade. So they're willing to pay the storage and, and bet that over the next six months prices are going to go higher. I think that for the most part though, I would sell my 18 cash, replace it with a call down the road if necessary, and I'd be aggressive in selling especially beans for 19. Steve, can all farmers do that? Are lenders, you know, wanting the farmers to sell more cash? I mean, or does it just depend on each individual situation? You know, I think that what we're hearing is that there's probably a little bit more sold to date than normal, and we think the bankers might be involved in that, uh, trying to lock in some of these uh, prices and so that they don't extend their debt. Um, most farmers, though, I think, um, let's say 30% of them are in a good financial situation where if they wanted to trade options, they could. Um, the others, uh, the bankers might be reluctant in lending them money to trade options, but I think that it's a good risk investment uh, to try to uh, maximize uh, some of your return on investment and minimize some of your risk.